This is a Microsoft Visual Basic 6 tutorial on database and data grid. So first we need to open up our Microsoft Access and create our database. Now you may not know this but 6.0 um, Microsoft Visual Basic does not support 2007 so we need to create a uh, 2003. So if you have a 2007, you just click on this little folder thing here and go save type as 2002 to 2003. It's easy as that. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I have a folder there. Okay. So I'll name it DB for database or database, whatever you need it to be called. Database employees, database sales, whatever. So I'll click OK. And then click Create. Now I'm going to go to the uh, data view. Uh, design view, sorry. And then call this TB employees. Employees. Okay. The field name, we're going to call it uh, employee ID. Copy that. I'm sorry. Number. Okay. Employee name. And then age, then position. Okay, go ahead and close. Uh, save first and close. So minimize. Open up our Visual Basic. Um, uh, Visual Basic 6.0. Open up a standard EXE, and then resize our form to our liking. And right-click on the toolbar here on the side. Go to components and find your Microsoft Auto Control 6.0. We'll also be using the data data grid, so it's just below it. And then click apply. And these two should appear. Okay. Now we need to add in our auto control, which will be the connector to our database. And then I'll change my property name to Adam. It's up to you what property name you would like. So go to connection string to connect to our database. And then build. Microsoft Jet 4.0. And then find your database. Which is here. Or mine is here. right there. Okay. So it is opened by another program. Blah, blah, blah. So that means we just need to close it. Okay, so open that. Test the connection always. Always remember to test the connection. I'll take out the path just in case I move uh, move the files or move the database. So test the connection again. So click OK. After you've done that, uh, click Apply. And these four tabs at the top should appear. Now click Record Source. Uh, and then you just type in the following syntax. Select Asterisk from and then whatever the table you're getting it from. So TBL employees is the name of our table. So apply. Okay. So if you accidentally press OK and you don't see the that the tabs at the top. For instance, you just test connection, press OK, and you press apply and it doesn't appear. Don't panic. You just click on the add a control and go over here to the property window and record source is right here on the bottom. So don't panic. Alright. It's okay, we have that connected and now we just need to make our fields. So while I'm making this, I'm just gonna have to pause so that we don't consume time. Okay, I'm done making the little fields. So all all I did well the video was paused was make these fields these uh, labels and text box I named it by txt by the corresponding uh, label here on the side so txt id txt name play name and txt age txt position so that's all I did uh, now what we need to do is connect these text box to the uh, database so let's wait for this load 
go to the data source property of all of the text boxes and click the add or control so which is this thing here which is connected to our database so now one by one you have to click on the text boxes uh, and click the data field that it corresponds to so this should be employee ID employee name and age so let me show you something uh, if you do not have the uh, data source there will be no data field so that's what this is for Okay. so if we were to run this nothing will happen because there's nothing in that database we created all we did was create the fields remember so we stop this go back to our database this is in the desktop right here now we're going to create some employees M3. So this employee's name is going to be uh, Michael B35. Position is boss. And then this one will be Pam. It's B30. And she will be the secretary. And this will be Jim. 31. And salesman. Alright. Save. Close. Let's close our database because maybe we'll arrive at some errors. So if we run this right now, we created some records. It should have some records. And there we go, we have some records. We have successfully connected it to our auto control. So now we go ahead and connect it to a data grid. Okay. So all you do is create a data grid. We added this in the components if you remember from the beginning. Now all you do is click on data grid, go to the components, I mean, I'm sorry, go to the properties and find the data source. All right. Okay, so if we run this, that this data grid should show all records of the database. And there we go. You can, if you would like, go to the data grid and retrieve the fields so that you can see the, um, the layout. You can also change the properties of these uh, fields on the top. You see how they, on the employee ID and employee name, they are uh, not spaced. You can change that right here on the columns. And then after that, you go here, column one. And as you can see now they are now spaced okay and that is how to connect a data grid and a data control 6.0 to um, access thank you for watching